I said one cover slicker than the other. Which one is it? <laughs> you already know which side slicker than the other. <laughs> the left side, son. Okay, okay. It's, it's, All the, right. it's the billionaire. Let's see. Khalees Beyonce. Oh, yeah. Khalees Beyonce. I'm going to go with the dude that had Beyonce. That's okay. 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 Are you ready to get to it? I'm always ready to be, but you know, this is your show. You're running the show. Absolutely. So let's go. You fall in love with hip hop. I have loved you from the first time I laid eyes on you. And I love you. Welcome to the Electric Relaxation Show. I am your host, Mr. Galloway. What's going on? Hope all is well. I am here with my man, my mellow, the hardest working man in show business, Hendo. What's happening, my brother? Chilling. What's going on with you? I can't call it. I can't call it. Speaking of which, like I promised... Bam. I got a couple of these for you. My man. My man. I've been yeah. waiting on that. I need yeah, that. I need that in my life, son. For those that don't know, once upon a time, not long ago, I had a couple CDs I did. They went in the stores, you know, so on and so forth. But that's one of them. The very first project is here. I was in a group called Black Tongue. Um, uh, First joint was called Preamble to the Game. My last joint was Divine Intervention. It may be floating somewhere in uh, the internet. <laughs> Somehow, some way, maybe. Maybe. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's out, it's out there. Like, listen, certain things never die. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, yeah. been down, it's been downloaded. It's out there. People can find it. You know, maybe we might resurrect some. Maybe, maybe a reunion tour. Maybe you know, just a, a, maybe a reunion track. So I, I love, I love that. I love that. But you know, um, the guy that did it with me, um, Kwame Na, he passed away. So R.I.P. to him. Rest in peace. Guess we can take a moment of silence for that. All right, all right. So anyway, back to the show. Um, episode two, if you haven't seen episode one, I encourage you guys to check it out. We were talking some dope stuff. Would you agree? I would agree. And the people seem to agree as well because they liked it. They watched it. They commented. They liked, shared. Hey, make sure y'all do the same for this video and future videos going forward. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. So, as you see in the background, I got two legendary guys. I'm going to speak on one of them now. I believe this may be Hendo's favorite guy of all time. <laughs> the God MC, arguably one of the best I ever do it. My man, Hov. My man, Hov. And because of that, this show is dedicated to one of the songs he did called Failing It. So with that being said, Hendo, yes, sir. today's topic is what songs, what albums are you failing? Your top 10 or 10 of your favorite albums. We can go back and forth. So I can name one. You can name one. Or you can run yours down. I'll run mine down. Um, How about I uh, run mine down? Okay. And that way... I can just skim through them real quick. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then you can give your top 10 and go into detail and maybe give some background history into it. I love that. So, Let's me, do I, it. so me, I'll just go through mine. 
And and listen, my my top ten are in no particular order, except for maybe the last two. Mm-hmm. It might be tied for one because, like, we had a conversation the other day, and it brought up a few thoughts and, and a few feelings that I had when I first heard that album because I remember where I was. Mm. You know what I mean? I remember my cousin had it, mm. and I was down off North Avenue at his house, and he was giving me a ride home, and I'm like. What is this? What is this? Mm. Hey, you gonna have to let me run that. Mm. So uh, I don't, I don't want to date myself or anything, but he gave me the CD. <laughs> it might have been a tape. No, it was a CD. He gave me the CD. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I took it home and listened to it, and I'm like, this is hot. Mm. And you know who my number one all time is. Oh no but, doubt. But these my two my last two albums. I don't know. I'm gonna have to call them one A and one B. You know what I mean, so I'm gonna start off with my number ten. Okay, number ten. Stank on you. Mm, okay. Outcast. Listen, I know a lot of people feel like "Bombs Over Baghdad" is a uh, Outcast best song. I don't know if it's their best, but it's damn sure hot. Mm. My number nine takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Mm. Listen. Public Enemy was one of my one of the first groups that I ever heard and was like, yo, they saying something, got dope beats, and Chuck D is just a masterful MC. Hmm. Num- number eight, which, like I said, this ain't in any order right now, but number eight is Life After Death, Notorious B.I.G., the first hip-hop album to go diamond. Mm. The first one. My hmm. man, Double CD, right before he passed away. Listen, to me, best to ever do it. Mm. Next up, we got the Blueprint 2. I know some people feel like Blueprint 1 was better and was more impactful, but for me, the double CD Blueprint 2 was the joint. Then I got EPMD Strictly Business. Listen, for for those out there that may be wrestling fans, I equate EPMD to the British Bulldogs in wrestling. (laughs) Separate, they wasn't all that good, but when you put them together, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Next up, I got into the end of the Wu Tang, the 36 Chambers. Listen, we already know these dudes came together and formed Voltron. Hit you with them hot tracks over them gritty beats. Now, this one may be surprising to a lot of people, but you and I had this conversation. This is one of the illest MCs ever. And this this album was groundbreaking. And I don't know if a lot of people can appreciate it for what it was, but it's the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Mm. Then next up, one of my all-time favorites and pretty much one of the reasons for the naming of the show, Midnight Marauders, Tribe Called Quest, Electric Relaxation. Listen, it, you know, they called it Backpack Rap, but them brothers had it going on. So now we get down to my top two. And this may be 1A and 1B, but the CD that I was talking about earlier is Dark and Hell is Hot. You can play this joint from beginning to end. Look through my eyes. Um, let me fly, Rough Riders Anthem, get at me, dog. How's it going down? Stop being greedy. ATF for my dogs, the convo, the prank. Like he just had it all on this. But number one, and I think this is even number one on Rolling Stones list of the top 200 albums of all time, hip hop albums of all time. It's got to be ready to die. Mm. It's got to be. I know that we have some differences because I know it's one dude I left out. That I know you put in there, but that's my top 10, though. That is a very mean list. Very, very mean list. But I, you did leave somebody out. And I'm going to start with oh, him. Oh, man. I need to add number 11. Okay. What's number 11? My album? Oh, no. I was going to say Eminem. But you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't say M. Listen, M has some M has tracks. But as far as top 10 albums, I don't think, you know, and you know our criteria for albums is ones that we can play all the way through. Mm-hmm. And M has some hot albums, but not mm-hmm. all of his albums can you just play from beginning to end and just keep letting it rock. Got you. Well, I don't feel too bad now. You ain't say M's, you didn't say mine, you know, so, you know, it's all good. But the guy you forgot to mention or you failed to mention, my man. No, that Illmatic, serious. I've never heard it. Never heard it? Never heard okay, it. Okay, okay. 
It's this guy called Nas. He one of the best to ever do it. And I've heard I'm gonna, of that. I'm going I'm, to I'm I'm send you some of his stuff. I believe you'll like it. You ain't got to do that, bro. Yeah. I, 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 matter of fact, I think he's uh, he might be here with us. No. I think you're in the background. I'm, well, all he, right. He on glasses? He on them shades? <laughs> no, no. That's the, the other guy. The other guy. Oh, <laughs> you mean, oh, you know what? All you should have said to me was Mr. Khalees. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, I'm going to get to my list. So as y'all know, I love Nas. I love Hov too. But Nas Illmatic, I got Hov um, Blueprint, the first one. I absolutely love the first one. You know, Soulful. You got Mr. West on there. You got Just Blaze, them killer beats. But I got somebody on the list you might be surprised about. My man, the late, great Nipsey Hussle. That project was epic. Epic project. Blew my mind the first time I heard it. Blew my mind. Then I got Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Actually, both of them, but 2001 is what I got on my list. You know what I mean? Raekwon, only built for Cuban links. Both of them. Right. Yeah. Impactful. But there's another Wu-Tang member, Supreme Clientel, Mr. Ghostface. Man, oh man, remember uh Byron? Byron yeah. used to play that joint all, all the, time. the time, right? Yeah, yeah. So he got me hooked on that. He got me hooked on that. 50 Cent, Give Richard Diatron. When I first heard that, it blew my mind. The production, mm -hmm. just him as an MC, you know, super dope, super dope. The Fuji's the score. That's my joint too, like yourself. The Queen, Lauren Hill. I think Lauren Hill is one of the best that ever do it. You know what I mean? I'm going to go on a limb and say Lauren Hill, to me, should be as big as Drake. Because to me, she was the one who did that. I'm not going to say first, but first. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. Just the Queen. I mean. So what you're telling me is Drake just went home, studied him some Lauren Hill, and then came back and better style. Is that what you're saying? I ain't gonna say better style, but I'm sure she was an influence on him. She was an influence on a lot of people. I mean, you know. She started acting, he started acting. There you go. <laughs> you don't see the correlation? I hear you. I hear you. She had Speak on a fake wig, he had on a fake wig. Like, oh my God, here you go. But speaking of Lauren Hill, I mean, this is guy that's behind me. He did a song with Lauren Hill. Major success, major hit. You know, the guy opposite of the glasses. Your favorite <laughs> MC. So, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> so that is my list. That is my list. I don't think I'm leaving anybody out. But I do want to ask you another question. Yes, sir. Recent, recent projects. Is there any recent projects that you're really feeling in the rap world? Yes. Um, so, you know, if you know me, I you know that I don't listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty not, I'm really not up much on modern music because a lot of people know how I feel about modern music and what I call kitty rap. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there is an upcoming project that I'm I'm looking forward to. It's called the Hendo Playlist. Okay. Where I pick a bunch of old school music and put mm -hmm. it in my playlist and listen to that all day. Okay. That's, That's it. That Okay, okay. But as far as rappers and stuff today, I know. I'm not looking for none of them. Got you. Well, right now, you know, 11-11, uh, I guess Nas and Jay is the topic, but 11-11, Nas came out with this epic project with Hip Boy really feeling that. The who? I think that's dope. Hip Boy, he's a producer. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. King's uh, Disease 3. They got a series, but you know, I digress. I digress. Um, Freddie Gibbs. It's this guy called Freddie Gibbs. His new project is super dope. Super, super dope. I'm failing him. I'm definitely failing him. And Jeezy Snowfall. You know, the rapper Jeezy from Atlanta. I'm failing that too. So I'm going to send those to you so you can vibe out to him. Good. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm good, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, you know what, to be fair, I guess this hip-hop show is about hip-hop. I guess I have to open up and reintroduce myself to this new age hip-hop culture. You know, yeah. I'm old. I'm 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 what my parents turned into when it's like, yo, turn that noise off. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. So I right. guess I have to kind of reprogram my mind and, and reevaluate the state of hip-hop today. Because you know we're we're purists. We come from that era right, where it all right. started. Mm -hmm. We came from lyricists. Mm -hmm. All this mumble rapping and yeah, yeah, oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> whatever they doing, like it ain't doing it for me, son. They don't even right. know the word. They don't even know the words that they rapping. Because sometimes mm -hmm. I've heard some of them kids go to concerts and say different words than that's in the song that they recorded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if you say these people are cool. I'm gonna take the time out to listen to him and give him a fair shake, unlike yeah. some people. There's a lot of dope MCs out there. You got you got people like Davies, you know what I mean? Super mean. Of course, the usual suspects, you know, Kendrick, um, J. Cole, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's there's some guys out here doing some things. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we had a good show. We had a great show. Hopefully, you enjoyed that um, top 10. And if you never heard of some of these people, maybe you could check them out. You know what I mean? Any you, parting words? Yes. If you haven't heard of some of these people, get out there and do some research. Yeah. Get get out there and, and, and listen to some real music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Electric relaxate your butt. To Absolutely. some goddamn, to some goddamn iTunes and listen to some real music. Oh, no doubt. That's no my doubt. word to me to you when well, I chew with them. You know, facts. Is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, until next time, if you like the show, please check it out. Subscribe. Tell others. It's Mister Galloway, my man Hendo. Another one down. We'll see you next time around. Quick freestyle for him. What you think? Hit him with it. Uh, that was the freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to hear my music, Mr. Galloway on SoundCloud, Disposable Entertainment. Check it out. Listen to a couple seconds. It's all disposable. And let us know what you think. Put it in the comment section. Let us know if you're vibing with it or not. Absolutely. Volume one through three. Four on the way. All right, y'all. Until next time. Peace out. Deuces. <laughs>